Home buyers and sellers, are you curious to know the latest stats on the national housing market? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. Hi, I'm Stephanie Oliver with eXp Realty. According to Redfin, as of this month's data, national home sales are down 16% from last year. However, home prices are still increasing. The average national sales price is $420,385, and this is a 2.9% increase from last year. And in some cities and neighborhoods, especially here in Southern California, the increase in values is even more substantial. Los Angeles and Orange Counties especially just came in with some of the highest value zip codes in the country. I'm sure that you've heard that inventory is low. Yet did you know that home prices are continuing to rise? This is great news for sellers who are on the fence about listing their homes. And the national average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has been hovering between the high 7% to just a hair be above the 8% range, and the average days on market for a home to go pending in escrow is currently at 31 days. Across the country, the number of homes for sale is down 17% from last year, and we are currently at a two-month supply, meaning we're still in a seller's market. Nationally, we are still seeing the buyer demand for housing with a 36.3% of homes selling above list price, many still receiving multiple offers. This is a strong indication that the national housing market is stable, with experts saying that there are no signals of a crash coming. Too many homeowners have earned a lot of equity, so they're not walking away. And with little inventory, when distressed owners do have to list their home, those homes sell. So that's why the foreclosure rate is remaining so very low. Actually, the latest numbers from Adam Data Solutions show a 2% decrease in foreclosures year over year, with a total of 33,952 U.S. homes with foreclosure filings, default notices, scheduled auctions, or bank repossessions. There are also, at this point, no key indicators that a flood of homes will be coming to the market. It's easy to see why the data shows, and many experts are predicting, after the normal seasonal shift at the end of the year, the amount of appreciation and values will be continuing, or at the very least fall flat versus decelerating, and in some locations will even remain competitive. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist at the National Association of Realtors says, we simply don't have enough inventory. Will some markets see a price decline? Yes. But with the supply not being there, the repeat of a 30% price decline is highly, highly unlikely. Of course, real estate is very volatile and always changing, just like the interest rates. If you would like to learn what's happening locally in your area, it is always important to reach out to your local real estate expert to give you the most up-to-date numbers. Feel free to connect with my team and I, and I'm wishing you a happy Thanksgiving holiday. Bye.